Hi, John here. Today, uh, Wednesday, the 5th of October 2016. It's been a, a little while since I made the last video, uh, but today is an update on where we are going uh, with um, several things. Uh, first of all, I just want to um, announce that the 28th of October 2016 is 182 years of this flag of the tribes of the Confederation of Aotearoa New Zealand um, celebrations and I'll be there with the chiefs uh, after this weekend on Saturday uh, at Matatu Marae in Whakatane uh, they are plenty. Um, there'll be a meeting there, a hui, a hui um, with um, um, Tuhoi and Ngāpui chiefs, as well as uh, Maniopoto um, going there as well. And um, I'll be there for our own Uetaha Hapu in um, East Cape uh, on the marae there, the uh, Tuhoro marae in um, Purawanui and also the Marangaro, Marangaro Marae or Awatere Marae at uh, Te Araroa, uh, for the uh, uh, Marangaro land blocks there. So, uh, so far uh, we have um, uh, won our case against the uh, police, uh, Central Auckland Central Police Station and Natalie Flower Dew Brown, detective, CID. Uh, lost the case uh, to us, that has a big bearing on where the police sits with us, the hapu, uh, native of this country, and our, our 182 years of celebrating this flag of jurisdiction of King William IV, um, the only king's flag in the world that gave us um, independence, it, it is, it is a Declaration of Independence flag, sovereign authority um, for free passage through the world of trade and development uh, in this country to Britain, um, England, UK. That contract is still standing to this day as a commercial private contract between King William IV, reigning monarch, sovereign there, then, in 1835, 1834, years of this flag's um, jurisdiction and constitution inside itself for us to self-run ourselves as a government body whenever we were ready to do it. And this meeting, um, this weekend on Saturday, the 8th of October 2016, for the records, the history of New Zealand and Britain, is that we are having a show of hands to take our own authority of trade under this flag around the world in 250 countries we're advertising at the moment on our website, moaipowerhouse.com, M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R, H O U S E dot com. <coughs> you will see this flag there. Um, we are displaying it as always in an annual celebration of its own um, decoration to state our King William IV laws of 1830 to 1837 reign as monarch and our own reigning monarch in our self-preservation of our history and our inheritance to these lands as the legal owners, the original native owners, holding the native titles that I have here in my possession from the past Confederation Chiefs, Mohi Manakao and Machu, um, Machu um, Tarawa and also um, um, others of Ngāpui um, who I've been associated with.
to keep this legacy going. So to all those chiefs and hapu that are congregating at uh, Matatua Marae in Whakatane, a place where I went to high school, so I'm familiar with the territory, and all those uh, people attending from the Confederation itself and um, the United Tribes, um, I have this message for you, is that this is our last chance, maybe, before the New World Order kicks in in November, that we shall authorise and enforce this flag now that we have opened the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court on the 15th of April this year uh, with King Itaurua and other chiefs, Willie Pater and Pohepa Epiha and the police, Paul Tipene, uh, constable from Kirikiri um, District. Uh, police station there in attendance and Mari Rapana, uh, the um, cultural uh, manager of the Marae. We are uh, waiting for his response to hire the Marae again or use the Marae for the reason of this 182 years of celebrating this British given flag of free passage trade and development through the world on that day inside that marae at 5 a.m. in the morning till 6 a.m. outside to put this flag up to the top of the pole of the mast of the King William IV British Ship of Admiralty. We have that right as a contracting partner to exercise our authority and jurisdiction over these lands from that day on it is on the records for the records here in this country now that Jerry Mataparai Andrews the past um, Governor General is going to England and I have a message for him this flag is our hapu authority over these lands and not the Crown, Corporate, Iwi, Trusts and the Crown Trust themselves which are in question since the police lost the case to me on these lands in 77 Cook Street, Auckland. When we were arrested, I was arrested uh, and the judge threw the case out. It was not dropped by the police. It was thrown out because of lack of evidence. It had no substantial evidence against our Moai, King William Trust and our flag and Moai statue memorials authority. Okay, there was no rebutting of any of our affidavits, over 3,000 affidavits to state that fact that the Australian, New Zealand land titles, limbs, is subjected to this flag and our King William IV British Hapu native land title jurisdictions. Okay, so I want to make that clear on this video today for the record here and British Government, Westminster Parliament and the High Court of Admiralty in London, Judge David Lindsay Mackey, and my lawyer QC here, Yu Tai Choi, I'm about to ring him in a second, and to get a meeting with him to seize 77 Cook Street land, property, fraud, transactions, as being <coughs> my job as a native assessor, creditor, and um, native title investigator of lands. Okay, so um, we've been through this with King Itaurua in the Marae, 
at Waitangi, the Waitangi Marae itself, on the morning of the 15th of April 2016, this year, at 5 a.m. in the morning, we were inside that whare, which is our King's Bench Court place of business, under this flag jurisdiction from then on is legal and enforceable on any piece of land in this country. Now that the police have lost the case to me, they have no jurisdiction or power to challenge the titles that I'm holding and this eight-point star of St. Patrick's Order that I wear on my head as the jurisdiction and constitution of this country, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Okay, so that's what I really wanted to um, say to the chiefs meeting at Matatua Marae in Whakatane, that this shirt that I wore when the police detective Natalie Flower Dew Brown arrested me in this house, I was wearing the other shirt that's still in the police custody. They have seized it as evidence against me. Now that the court hearing is over, they have not returned it to me. You can see King William the Fourth on this shirt right here. She took it off my back and stripped me in my house and didn't appear in a subpoena to the court. She never appeared in court under subpoena of the court judge and to give evidence against me. It was completely wiped out as if nothing happened with all the fuffle on 77 Cook Street. So now that leaves the people, the landowners on that block, <coughs> liable. And everyone else, there's 43 people liable. I'm just saying to the Hapu Chiefs meeting at Fakatani, this is crucial on land in this country, that that one piece of land is a house of cards and it got caught. It got caught out flouting the law, the Crimes Act 1961, the Crimes Act 1951. They flouted the law. This is the police with the law unto themselves. So, in that event, that land is now vulnerable. It's vulnerable as much as every other piece of land in this country and in 250 countries in the world under this flag of jurisdiction, highest king's flag in the world. That's what I want to say with this hat on and this eight-point star of King William IV seal, his seal, on his horse and his ship of Admiralty behind the horse, his crown on the top of the eight-point star of the seven wakas in the Pacific Islands, one for each country, is the authority that I'm wearing on my head. <clears throat> and the eight kings that King William is associated with as the king of sea, king of the royal Revenue, King's Bench Court, and the King's Sovereign Authority inside his flag. That is our partner. With the British military, the British Navy, UK, and Westminster Parliament, UK. One thing I want to say there, at that point, is that Scotland is making moves to go into the EU Parliament, which leaves 
England and Wales on their own. Okay? Now, to the people in Britain watching this video, I have a message for you. And for Theresa May, the new Prime Minister, and also UKIP, uh, Farage. Farage, this flag is our partnership with you in your government there. And I see in the Pacific, the biggest ocean in the world, the biggest piece of land under the sea that you're part of with us. To police and to enforce the laws of Britain, Westminster Parliament under 1830 to 1837, King William IV, we are using those laws as exclusive to our native Hutton here and the Pacific Islands, to Easter Island, <coughs> Tahiti, and our Ngāpui, Ngāti Pro, and Tainui Chiefs. We have the Te Arawa Chiefs as well as Tuhoe Chiefs, Atatua, acknowledging our flag of jurisdiction from this year, 28th of October. 182 years of celebrating this flag with you. We are enforcing our law of King William IV for the record here in Aotearoa New Zealand and Pacific Islands and Britain UK. We are enforcing this law of 1830 to 1837 King William IV Acts of British Westminster Parliament as our right untouched, unaltered, with the hapu, chiefs in King William, as per John Key on the other side, on the Queen side, with the Australian New South Wales government in exile, contract. The 1840 Treaty of White Only contract belongs to John Key and his iwi Maori, Authority, Crown own entities versus King and Hapu Chiefs Native Maui title holders of this country and its flag and Britain Constitution and Jurisdiction 1835 applies as of today, leading up to the 28th of October 2016 celebrations. So really, I wanted to express our ruling authority to the rest of the world watching, that we are here for the indigenous people of the world. Mixed blood, white and black, blue and green, whatever colour, we are here for the indigenous, original, surname, male bloodlines, as is of King William IV, male, dominant bloodlines, titles to the land. Anywhere in the world, we got 250 countries with this flag. We're raising it up on the Admiralty ship here. This Admiralty ship, the background behind that horse, have a good look. You'll see this on the website, iPowerhouse.com. You'll see the flag enough times. The eight point stars on the flag, the four corners of the earth, the blue, the sea, the sky, and the four stars in the corners, and the red cross in that small corner is King George the Third, the father of King. William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the First, 
and King George IV. That is the four corners of the earth kings. The four kings out of the eight kings in the big cross. It forms part of the Vatican, which is holding the eight point star title to the world. Okay? Moai, on the other hand, is the creator of the earth, God's earth, with his head on his head in Dunedin, South Island, New Zealand. The Moai was put there by this government, the Australian government, to put that crown title on the land in amongst the Pākehās who settled there. Most of the Pākehās went to South Island. Pākehās, I'm saying, the British people who arrived here in 1840. Okay? 1840? This flag was here first from the British Navy arriving at Kororareka, Russell, the Bay of Islands, the 10th of April, 1834. This is their legacy of the first arrivals of the British immigrants <coughs> to this country, <coughs> where we take our first authority of landing of these partners, the Navy, there with the Hapu chiefs. Tengaire is where the chiefs meet up in Matari Bay with those immigrants that landed on their land in Matari Bay in Kororareka. Okay, I just want to say in that area of chiefs at that time who signed a contract on 1835 at Titi Marae in Waitangi brought that title from the 1834 in Kororareka over to Titi Marae in the paddock where the Popos are. Those are their titles, the Hapu chiefs. They have the contract. I'm here for that contract with this authority and this flag. Okay, so I want to make that clear to you. I've been with Marapui over 20 years putting this together. And now that the police are out of our way, it leaves us clear to go straight in with this authority, unchallenged. Okay? No one could refute anything that you see online, on Facebook, that I've written in documents with the seals, the seal, this is the seal of authority that we're going under this flag. This flag is the trading flag. This is the ruling authority. Amahi. Okay, this is the sheriff. That sheriffs here will be wearing. We have the authority to investigate any piece of land the immigrants are still on from Britain and other people here. This is the authority, the ruling authority over these lands in New Zealand and the Pacific Islands, for that matter, the world. With the Vatican, Red Cross on this flag in two places. It is in two places, the big one and the little one. The big one is the Vatican, the little one is the four kings who created a commerce in the world in 1830 to 1837, this flag. Right in the middle of King William IV's reign, right on 1835 signed agreement contract. Okay, I made myself clear. Do I make myself clear to you people who are meeting at Matatua? You are all the same native. Didn't matter. We have a flag. We have a king. We have memorials. We have titles in this flag. Straight to Britain, our protector 
they are obligated to protect us with their military. That's why I wanted them on the Rangituki land blocks, Pahos 07B on the Waiapu River. I want them to come straight in there to all you chiefs because it's long enough to put the big runway to bring the big planes straight in and Russians for that matter. Okay, so that's our plan. I want to express <coughs> this invitation to all the chiefs in this country and all New Zealanders for that matter who know what's going on with everything I put online is factual and true in statements that I make proves beyond a doubt that the police failed in court against me to produce any substance or material matter of evidence against all the evidence I had in the court to challenge one Natalie Flower Dew Brown CID detective holed up in Solomon Islands the police took her out because they know she was there to create the trouble. This is crime at its worst in this country. John Key, you in the Panama Papers, you're liable. From what I say, on the Marae, under this flag and this hat, you're liable. Your name has already gone through with Yu Tai Choi. Now now see that you are using him for your lawyer and QC. He signed your name into the High Court of Admiralty in London. That case still stands. You're going into court. I'm taking you into court. I've accused you of fraud and corruption in this country on our land. I'll be expressing that to the Chiefs at Matatu Marae in Pakistani if I can get a chance to talk and also on the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. That's our land. We're confiscating all that property and the little buildings, everything, to pay for your crimes, to pay for your fraud, and to pay for your corruption in this country. All you elite people, you're going to get the bill. I'm pointing to you. You're going to get the bill under this flag jurisdiction. It's still live. Do not ignore what I say. That's what the police did in the Auckland District Court and lost the case. Now they're liable. All you police are liable, including Aaron Pascoe, CIB, and Tim Duffy, and Natalie Flower Dew Brown. You gave me all the trouble in the world. You're going to pay for everything I've put me up to in these past years, since 2008 when I took this case on 77 Cook Street, well, 61 Cook Street then, then it went to 1 bar, one, 61, 1 bar 61 Cook Street, then it had 98 Wellesley Street as new addresses. So I'm not finished with that property yet. I'm going to show where the fraud is. I've already done it online. There's enough videos. There's over 930 videos on YouTube, online. And... 68 Facebook sites, you'll see everything amongst that lot. I have a site there with Natalie Flower Dew Brown versus, or John Wanoa versus Natalie Flower Dew Brown on Facebook. Go there and you'll see everything. You'll even see bad cases of police, corruption and fraud, and the worst cases scenario. So you'll see this case there. And to those two landowners on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown, you're in the gun. You know you've done wrong. You know you flouted the law. You knew you bought a cheap property for a bargain. And <coughs> 38 million, when Chinese would have bought it for 80 million on that property, right opposite the Sky Tower on Prime Land. You're losing it. You're losing it still. I'll be here till you're booted off. The same as every other piece of land in this country 
the Rothschilds included, up from the way, and all the fraud people, you're going to get found out. People had enough. I'm here for the people of New Zealand, in that court, Auckland District Court, I was there for the birth certificate, John Key, Prime Minister, the birth certificate fabricated against me, and the judge still used it and cashed it in with my name on it. I signed, and some mysterious person signed Hawani Wanoa in capital letters. That is the fraud on these lands. Mr. John Key, that after it was cleared, the documents of the police were still used by the court judges to cash in the money against my inheritance name. Now, that's another crime. We're not finished yet. You can't cover it up anymore by saying the case is over. No, the case is not over because we all know it was disclosed. I let it out in the open so that everyone can see who the fraud is saying. That's lot it certainly wasn't me. It was the people on Cook Street. All those people in the office, the people who poked their nose in and tampered <coughs> with my court case. I'm allowed to be a native assessor, investigator of land private investigator. I'm allowed to be that. My chiefs gave me the authority to do that. They're dead now. Mohi Manukau and <coughs> Machi Tarawa. They're gone now, but they left me their titles. They all left me their titles. In Dawiungi, in Ngāpui, left me her titles. You see, that's why I know such a lot. Because they trusted no one, not even their own families. Because they were mixed up in the iwi, crown corporations. So we are a corporation under this flag. We are a hapu native, King William IV, British, UK, authority, corporation, trusts. Okay, two trusts, King's Trust, Corporation and Queen's Trust Corporation fraudulent, corrupted. The same scenario as Obama and Clinton. John Key is part of that. TPPA, you're getting a bill under this flag for tampering with our information and our land and our resources, natural resources. That's what I'm saying in the video. It's long, but I want to be thorough what I say. So I'm going to try now and ring my QC lawyer, Yu Tai Choi. Um, I'll find his number. Here he is. We shall try and reach him. He goes. Yes, look, can I speak to uh, Mr. Choi, please? Oh, he's not there this week, is he? He's not. He's not in the office this week. Oh, what about next week? Oh, okay. Oh, I might just write him a letter. Can you just make a note? It's John Wanoa here. You remember me? The Maori boy. I came in there to see him for cook. Yeah, what's his number? 021-626-918. Yeah, I'll catch up with him, right? Eh? Okay, thank you. That's the office of Utai Choi. So I'll give him a ring on his mobile. Hopefully we will get him. Six to six.
it does. Let's hope we get them. Hello, uh, Mr. Toy, it's John Wanwar here. Um, just to catch up with you, uh, I've since won my case against the police for 77 Cork Street, you'll remember that, and uh, I still want to um, um, see you for the business side of things as well, as seizing that land. Uh, a lot has happened since then, and I want to... Um, come and see you on Monday uh, to discuss um, the business side of things as well um, for the title project. i am now got a um, approved uh, plan uh, assessment from CEFC Australia. Uh, they're the um, 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 clean energy um, business um, um, company there um, to fund. The, the project um, investments okay so that's one thing and on the other hand um, I've got uh, John Doer he's um, uh, from Kleiner Perkins Caulfield Buyers in California I'm waiting for his reply to invest in the business um, but he's showing interest in it as well so from one of those angles I still want to uh, deal with you in South Korea and uh, Hawandai Daiwo in the big construction part of the business. But I still want to form a way of getting your bill um, sorted um, from um, the people I'm associating with now. I'm at Mata to a um, big meeting in Whakatane this weekend and lead up to the 28th of October this year of the Confederation, 182 year celebration, and um, from there the flag issues to Britain, UK. Okay, I can catch up with you next week, um, UTAC. Um, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you later. I've spoken to your office, uh, gave me your number. Bye for now. There you go. That's UTAC Choi. I left a message with him to catch up because he wanted to have part in the business. Um, between here and South Korea now that is a free trade between the two countries and America has uh, their shipping businesses in South Korea I really want to go that way or any way that looks presentable on the world stage I'm not going to muck around anymore it's in or out this time around so, Mr. Yu Tai Choi, I have had meetings with him. He's been generous enough uh, to allow me to go and take his time. I haven't paid his bill yet for his time, and so I will get to that part of it because he has shown me uh, a little bit of um, leniency towards um, the crimes that are being committed as a case now that I've won my case against the police, that's going to add more substance to the case that he can handle. And I'm pretty sure he'll have very much interest in my new findings that he'll take on board as a QC, Queen's Council. I'm acting in the King's Council up in Waitangi on a Marae as a King's Bench Court. So tie that in with his side of the Queen's um, um, current situation in EU Parliament where she's gone from Westminster that's not going to change the business side of things he's still a lawyer to do the transactions um, investigations himself to take on the contract to 
do that part of Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. I'm making this public notice that he has the records. I've dropped it with him and um, Charles Hirschfeld is not showing much interest now in the case and even with the uh, United Nations case with Sue Nakora. Um, I'm still pursuing that as well and it could almost uh, be wrapped up with Yu Tai Choi taking on that role on behalf of the Confederation. I'll be discussing that with the uh, chiefs up at Waitangi and um, the Pingi Taurua at some stage, uh, Radio Watea 603 AM. I've sent uh, notices there of our intentions at Waitangi Marae uh, to be made public of this 182 year celebration uh, event, um, inheritance of the Hapu title to this country. They still have title, John Key. You have not brought this country out yet. You've got to get past Napoli first. I don't think that's going to be possible. They're not going to let you. You've already let them down, and not again. You've ignored them with the TPPA and went ahead and signed it. Um, at the East Coast, on Port Awanui, on the Ranfurly Bank, with the tidal turbine project to put our tidal turbines right through the well here and in Dover, England, Scotland and Ireland and also hopefully in America um, if I get an answer back from there the company there, investment company also we've got a uh, email back from CEFC Clean Energy um, Finance Corporation in Australia, I think it's Sydney. So Utah, Utah Choi has business there with uh, lawyers there uh, that he works with as well as here in the Pacific Islands. So he has a big area of law to cover on our behalf. I can't think of anyone else. I've already been to um, uh, Shannon Willis, uh, Vulcan Lane, Vulcan Chambers. I'm disappointed with them of what he did or did not do for me on Cook Street case. So he's up in court now against using those documents, <coughs> of the police documents, in the court to support what the judge did to use my birth certificate to extract money to pay themselves. He got paid from that. That's adds up to criminal fraud against the public of New Zealand interests financial interest and our hapu interests, chief's interest of Waitangi Marae and this interest of this flag, commercial trading bank flag authority. Okay, so he violated our law of these lands. We have our own law, we have our own tikanga, we have our own commercial law of the British in partnership and that's not about to change. No one can touch that. No one can change it. No one can tamper it with it. And John Key, your police are out of order. That's all I can say about them. They're out of order and faking their laws. They fake their laws with those documents. You've seen enough of them. I held them up in front of you and showed you just what Natalie Flower Drew Brown was capable of doing, defrauding the public of New Zealand and defrauding especially me. There's a cost to everything. I put a price tag of one trillion pounds on each offender here on their property, their assets, their Network.
as a consequence of tempering with my investigations and enforcement of our own Maui King William native law jurisdictions constitution 1835 and legal authority okay so really that's all I want to say for the day uh, apart from um, my friends in Scotland, uh, little Gordon family, um, I'm proud of them um, to support me all the way through. And they've been watching me for years. I've known Andy for a while, Andy Little Gordon. He's like me, man of the land. There's a lot of people like us, men of the land. But the law, when it comes to the law, that's my profession. The law on the native side, as well as on the Pakeha, British immigrant side. Okay, so um, the latest I want to say on the tidal turbines is that I'm waiting for an answer back from um, Klein. Um, Klein Perkins, Caulfield Buyers, Investors, California, USA. So, until then, we have the Clean Energy um, Funding Australia, um, corporations, investors interested in taking on the Maui tidal turbines in Australia, not in New Zealand, but in Australia. If that's the case, uh, that the Kleiner buyers, um, Kleiner Perkins, Caulfield buyers, um, not interested, then we shall go through Australia. Uh, if not, I haven't contacted anyone in Scotland yet. I will do. I will contact the energy. Minister in Britain first to see what they want to do. But we are passionate about the East Coast where the tides are strongest in one way direction on the Ranfilly Bank all the way up to Chile and up to Hawaii, across to, uh, uh, sorry, from Chile up through Hawaii, through Chile, uh, through Tahiti. First, Tahiti Islands, and up to Chile, up to Hawaii, across to Samoa Tonga, down to Australia, through Papua New Guinea, that way, and all the other islands there on the way through. I've forgotten to put in Easter Island as well, in Tahiti, um, and back to the East Cape, New Zealand. Okay, so it goes in an anti-clockwise direction of flow. The best part of the tidal turbines goes in the flow. There's 60 of them going right through, so America's right in the tidal flow that I'm talking about. Okay, so it could happen anywhere. And I am still have got no further with the um, shares are still sitting there and waiting for the funding, um, investment funding, to kick it all off. So I'm very um, um, sorry that it's taken so long, but <clears throat> it has picked up a lot of publicity through Facebook. Thank you, Facebook. I see you now got buy and sell on Facebook. We'll probably be using that um, medium to buy and sell shares there or not sell, not buy shares, but to sell the shares to investors um, around the world. Okay, so we'll, we'll stick there. We were going through Press the Shop and Tag Pay. It's proven difficult uh, with too many add-ons uh, making it <coughs> erode into the share um, itself. 
So I was hoping to get one investor to kick the whole thing into life without too many middlemen um, to interfere and tamper with it. So as long as we can keep control with the uh, original <coughs> founders and also with the engineers of the company <coughs> who join uh, as investors and also uh, with the shareholders themselves to have control as well, right through well, 250 countries. Okay, so that's more or less the title turbines wrapped up and Yu Tai Choi, lawyer, QC, um, has got a handle on that. He was hoping to do the um, legal side in international waters as well as the Pacific where their main business core is Australia and the Pacific Islands. Uh, so that'll come in handy with him. If he so wishes to take it on, then we will strike up a deal uh, to kick off with it. And in <coughs> the middle of that, <coughs> PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, corporates have always been there, though they are tied to Koei uh, Design Engineers in Denmark. We first started off with them uh, to draw up all the plans, uh, but I think I'll just leave that to the engineers to sort out and um, get back to Koei at some stage uh, through the lawyer to tie up the ownership under this flag. Our patent is under this flag of King William IV patents, 1830, 1837. We can alter them to suit from that point on. <coughs> we have not altered them in our own self-government on the bridges, on the tidal turbine bridges where we're running our governments from. Okay, not so much on the land, but on the bridges in the seabed land titles around the world. So wherever we, wherever we put it and the flag goes up on the bridge, that is the title that we hold under this jurisdiction of patent rights to this idea of turbines in the water and everything else we so wish to desire to patent and copyright <coughs> and own under this corporation. Our main products will be liquid hydrogen, as you'll see on one of our sites on Facebook. Uh, you go to Marine, um, Moai Marine Tidal Energy. Just type in Marine, Moai Tidal Energy, and you'll come up with the site where all the compressors and engineering equipment companies are on there. We just engage in the companies I pick as shareholders, major shareholders, in this idea of making hydrogen, hydrogen jet fuel and hydrogen metal <coughs> rocket fuel out of seawater and hydraulics. Okay, so electricity as well. Okay, so that's the tidal turbine side of, of it up to date. And also uh, the <coughs> 1835 Declaration of Independence Day at Waitangi. I will be up there and speak um, about this, what I'm saying on this video there. As far as land concern is, is, is titles, uh, the hapu still has clear title to these lands in New Zealand. They still hold the clear title ownership to the land, the foreshore, the seabed, everything under this flag. Unless you can come up with any credible evidence to say otherwise this title and all the statements I make, all the affidavits I make, all the titles I make on these lands in New Zealand belongs to the Hapu native chiefs and the confederation of chiefs under the United Nations agreement. <coughs> um, the um, sea, laws of the sea, agreements, 
and every other agreement that the Confederation has put together at Waitangi, including what Sue Nikora and her Maori government have put together. I'm endorsing uh, that with Mani Apoto to lead on the Maori government side, but although that's nothing to do with Maui, Hapu, title with King William IV, that's a separate issue. Please understand what I'm saying. Maori on that side with Queen <coughs> and New South Wales government, Australia to Britain. That is that path. John Key, Crown Corporations under Queen Elizabeth II to Australia, New South Wales, Queen Victoria title to Westminster. Down that path. That's that side with the Maori iwi authority in this country. That's their corporate. On this side, this flag, this hat, this eight-point star, this St. Patrick's Order, sheriffs, hapu, chiefs, rangatira, and King William IV, Crown Corporation, trusts, straight to Westminster. Straight there. Not around the corner. Straight there. Okay, you got that? You got that clear? This flag is straight into Westminster where I'm going. Okay, I'm putting this flag up with the Chiefs and Willie Pater. We were there on the 15th of April this year inside Waitangi Marae. And we're going back again to raise the flag up the flagpole as the right to its authority, jurisdiction, straight to Westminster, Britain, King William IV, King George III, their father, his father, and King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch sovereign, live and living in London, UK. He is our authority with the flag inheritance on British soil, England soil, land, laws of England that we're using inside the flag on these lands of the Hapu native chiefs of the Confederation of tribes, Voltaire, New Zealand. Have I made myself clear on this day, the 5th of October 2016, leading up to 28th of October 2016, from the 8th of October 2016 in Fakatane, Matatua Marae, Hui will be the decision maker going forward into Watangi Marae at 5 a.m. on the 28th of October 2016 after the <coughs> karakia at the Popo on Titi Marae to Kororareka 1834 link up with the flag of the immigrant British people and the Navy. I'm inviting you, John, Martin, Rear Admiral and Chief of Navy to come to that meeting at 5 a.m. on the 28th of October 2016 to witness this great historic occasion of your people coming to this country for the first time on the 10th of April 1834, your British people first landed on these native Maui Hapu lands. Maui being Tahitian, memorial statue, God's 
Lo, L-O-R-E, et al, Rapanui, Godlo. Het on a hit, crown, is title. Mana Fenua. Mana Fenua. Ahu Fenua. At the bottom, base of his statue standing in Queen Elizabeth II Great Court in London is our title to this planet Earth. That's why I'm going there. I'm going there to raise this flag next to King William's memorial statue in Devon, England and in Westminster Parliament and in the museum next to Maui statue memorial to God's Earth planet. Okay, so that's our identity. We are the Maui people, the water people of the Pacific. Death. That said, <coughs> I end this case online. 77 Cook Street, you're going to go to court. You're going to learn the hard way. You're here in occupation of our lands. We have the right to seize it back because we have committed fraud with the police, caught up with the judges and the lawyers and you, the landowners, and the banks, and the real estate company bailies, all caught up in this fraud against me and my chiefs and the public of New Zealand. Don't forget, I'm here for the public as well. That's right through the world. Free passage through the world on this land of King William the Fourth, King of the Sea, and King of Commerce, King of the King's Royal Revenue in the courts. Thank you very much, people. I shall now get back to work and get ready for Whakatane. So, bye for now.